GitHub Pages is a static site hosting service that allows us to put our local web pages on the internet. In order to use GitHub Pages, first you'll need a GitHub account. GitHub is a website, so you can just go to www.github.com and create a login, and that's what we'll do here. We'll go ahead and click Sign Up for GitHub, and now we're here. And so we'll keep this to unlimited public repositories for free because this just means that everyone can see our code and we don't need to worry about that. And then clicking the icon here, we'll be able to go to the GitHub homepage and start our first project. You'll need to go ahead and verify your email or else none of this will work. And so go ahead, verify your email, and then come back to this step. And once you verify your email, you'll come to this screen. It'll say it was verified, that's great. And we'll go ahead and start a new project. And so here we're gonna name our project, our repository, it's the same thing. You could call it a folder, it doesn't really matter. But the name of it is gonna matter for hosting. And so you get kind of one hosting name for each GitHub account that you have. And so it's gonna be your username. So here it's Blondie Bytes Hosting Tutorial. And then you're gonna do .github.io. And so this is gonna be kind of the name of the URL that's gonna show your website that's gonna be hosted. And so we'll go ahead and copy this and we'll use it for later, but make sure that this username matches your username. And then you have the .github.io after it. This description, you don't need to worry about that. We'll have this public, which just means anyone can see our code, not a big deal. And we'll initialize it with the readme, which just usually has like a description of like what this website is for or what this project is for. And we don't need to worry about this stuff for now. So we'll go ahead and create our repository, our project. And so if we go to our website right now, hit enter, we'll see a 404. And that's because we actually have to put code in this repository for something to be hosted. And so this hosting URL is already like available to us. We just need to put the code in so it knows what to show. And so we'll go ahead and go back here and it said it needed an index.html. So we'll go ahead and create a new file. It's gonna be called index.html. And this is kind of like the home base for our code. And we'll just put in a header here. We'll call it hello world. And then close that header. We'll preview it. It looks great. And then we'll go ahead and commit this file. So we're just committing the change, you know, saying this is what I want to be added. And so now you'll see this index.html. It has, you know, our hello world header just in plain HTML. And we'll go ahead and refresh this page. And now we see hello world. Now, can we change this code? Yes, we can. And so going back to our GitHub repo here, we can go ahead and click our index.html and say, instead of hello world, we wanna say, hello, Bob, you know, hi, Bob. And then we'll say as a paragraph tag, I am a hacker, there you go. And then we'll go ahead and commit these changes down here. And this just says, you know, this is a change I'm making, save that change. There we go, our file is changed, it's all updated. And then we'll go ahead and refresh this. And it says, hello, Bob, I am a hacker. And now this is actually live on the internet. So if you go to this URL, you will see, hello, Bob, I am a hacker as of right now. Of course, if I change this code, then what you see would be different. And this can be accessed from any computer as long as they have internet and they go to this URL. And so instead of having like the web page just available to you, anyone can access it, anyone can see it, anyone can see your content, whether it's for a blog or a tutorial or whatever it is, a personal website, you get the idea. Now, we did this all through the GitHub interface, and so we created new files here. We used the little pen icon, you know, up here to edit it. We could, you know, trash them. Whatever we wanted to do, we did it through the GitHub interface. But we could also say, edit our code locally and then upload it, so we could edit it, you know, with Sublime and our own favorite editor and then upload it later. Yes, that's totally possible, and you could upload the files or you can clone and download everything, and that will be in a different tutorial that I will link down below. And it's just like GitHub terminal commands, and that'll teach you how to edit it locally and then upload it later. But you can also just upload files that you want to upload to this repository. And now you know how to use GitHub pages. Remember, this will only work with static sites, so there can't be any dynamic Angular directives or routing going on because that won't work. However, you can use all of this other stuff with other hosting sites such as Heroku. 
Now, due to the fact that classes are back in session for me, videos may be a little inconsistent coming out every two weeks instead of every week. However, the next tutorial will be on how to use Heroku to host your Angular website or your dynamic website so that anyone in the world can access it just like they can for your static sites on GitHub. See you then.